choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we are willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one which we intend to win. All right, you heard it, folks. We are headed to the moon. Moon, however we pronounce this. Now, uh, we see in the mission that we have several objectives here. First is to get into orbit around the moon. We want to uh, transmit some data uh, from space around the moon. And I think it has to be near, space near the moon, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Uh, so then we also need to land on the moon and then have scientific data from the surface. And we get that much for our, each step, and then we get that much for the whole thing. So it's quite a nice, quite a nice mission. And we definitely need to do that. Okay, can we take another contract? All right, so let's see. Uh, I think I want to do visual survey. Mark 16 parachute. Okay. Oh, the stability enhancer. So, I believe that's just the launch holding platform things, which we're going to use anyway, so we may as well take that. And we've got enough science for a new, which I think we need to unlock them, so... It looks like we're going to need this. Okay, so. Um, looks like we've got the basics for landing on the moon. However, this would be handy too. But perhaps... Perhaps we won't be able to do that. I don't think so. So, let's see. What we really need to do is see about, is this, no, this is not what I want. The astronaut building here. We should really upgrade that thing so that they can do EVA. Because otherwise, what's the point? Hopefully we didn't spend too much money. Okay, so, I think a moon landing at this point may be a bit ambitious. Especially with as little cash as I've got. So, we'll just try to do orbit. Uh, get into orbit around the moon. Just to start things off. Be a little more realistic, I think. Before we attempt, whoop. Before we attempt to uh, actually land, and okay, so that'll probably be enough for our basic crew capsule <laughs> there we go little antenna hopefully that won't make us fall over okay so now we need to 
actually be able to get to the mine. So we're going to need, well, first of all, a decoupler. And then loads of fuel. Probably a lot of fuel. Of course. I think that will work. Let's see. Mm, hope so. Do something like that. Okay, and then decouplers. Symmetry. Let's do two. And we'll do something like that. With these bigger engines. Okay, got some struts, let's use those. The nice thing about these is when you decouple, they will break as well. Pop some of those on. Another set of struts up here. keep this thing together mm, it's probably enough I think we will see okay so this spacecraft is getting quite expensive but oh, there's no help for it it's an important mission do that and get these bad boys on there okay so I believe these are the control surfaces I'm gonna put those on these particular ones so that you see the idea is these engines on the side will be used more for when we have uh, atmosphere and then the middle one can be used out of the atmosphere as well so having control surfaces isn't going to be that helpful for it okay now I don't know how much Delta V and all that is going to be involved. So it's a little difficult to say whether this will be enough. I think so though. Mun Orbiter. Okay, so looks like we've got just about everything we can do there. Uh, what can what can the engineer do? I forget. Can repair things maybe? I don't know. Uh, let's let's take Bob. 
I think that this part here will give us SAS support. I think so. Air brakes. Oh my. Well, I suppose I don't really need these. I guess we're coming back. I guess I guess we'll delete that. Well, not quite as uh, quite as awesome as I had hoped, but I. Th oh no! You know what we forgot is the launch stabilizer thing. But we don't have the parts for it anyway, so. It says there's an SAS module, I guess not. Okay. Here we go. Uh, so far, so good. Hoping that when these solid boosters go off, we're still going to have enough thrust. So we got to get as high as we can. Let those go. Okay, so we're going to need a little bit more power. This is real tough without stability control. Okay, we're turning the ship. The idea is that when we get rid of these side tanks, don't want them to fall onto the rest of the rocket. There's a storm. You know, NASA would never launch a spacecraft in this kind of weather. But we're not NASA. This is Kerbal Space Program. We're more hardcore than that. Okay, drop those. Excellent. I expect we will make it into space, so let's see. Oh my, a little bit of overkill. Okay, so we'll need to stabilize the orbit. We're out of the atmosphere, so we can go ahead and set up the maneuver. Can we? Hey, am I going crazy here? Ok, 
can we not set up maneuver notes? I suppose not. Okay, get back on track here. We'll just kind of have to do this by hand, I guess. Alright, where's the mun? Can we do nothing? Interesting. Well, I guess I'll try to get into orbit and then we'll see what happens. So this should be just about there. And we're set. We're a little higher than we really should be, but... That'll be okay, I think. Now, back to the Space Center. Let's see what's going on. Do you have to upgrade the Tracking Center to do maneuver nodes? Perhaps so. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. I don't have any... I don't have enough money for that. Had no idea I couldn't set the maneuver nodes. Because I thought that I did previously. Huh. Not sure if we should attempt this. Well, why not? The worst thing that could happen is we uh, find out we don't have enough fuel. We'll just wait till we get to the apoapsis and we'll just come back. Or we find out we're not on target and we'll just come back. But I think this should get us there. A 
Okay. Question is, do we have enough fuel? Probably. Whoop. Drifting there. Okay, so we'll want to slow that puppy down. Oh, no SAS and no maneuvers. This is really freaking tough. Will we even be able to see the encounters if we get one? I don't know. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Whoa. We're in the moon's orbit here. Very far out, but... Okay. Let's go ahead and... Man, our tracking is very rudimentary. We are not going terribly fast, so... I'm thinking we should be able to manage an orbit at least. Okay. Well, we we did that. We're in orbit around the moon. All right, Bob. First ever EVA. A little bit far out there. Space high over the moon. Okay, I think I got rid of the transmitter, so we won't know if that would uh, complete the mission until we go back. But I don't know that we want to do that. Because I think we can probably get close, get another report just as easily. Okay, now I think close is pretty, pretty darn close. Like, say... I think that'll probably be enough. Okay, fuel's a little tight. Tighter than I would want. But I think we'll be okay. Oh my, look at that! Bob, do you see it? Do you see it? The mun. Okay, is this low? It is. Now, pop back out. Grab a report. Okay. Get back in the ship. Whoa. Whoa, what is going on? Okay, Bob.
Calm down and get in there. You can do it, buddy. You can do it, buddy. You know, with no sound, it's kind of ominous. It's like real space here. Because, you know, there's no sound in space. So they say. Never been. Which begs the question. If a tree falls in the forest or in space and no one can hear it, does it make a sound? Of course the answer is no. Because sound is a vibration of air particles or whatever. Come on, you can do this. See, the problem is the ship is not actually stable. It's kind of turning back and forth. Oh, come on, get it. Get it. Get it. Oh, boy. Whew. Well, I think that's about all we can do here. So we need to think about heading back. Now, to do that, we want to swing around over here because the moon is orbiting this way, which means if we go this way, we'll take advantage of its speed and lose some velocity that way. I think so, yeah. Wait, we're going the wrong way. Is my orbit coming down? No, it's just focused on the ship. Okay. I don't know, we'll just see about escape in here and see where we go from there. bizarre. It doesn't show you when you've left the sphere of influence. Okay, so we're in a pretty darn wide orbit. Seven million meters. We really can't afford to waste fuel, so I'm just going to go out to the apoaps and burn retrograde here. And since we're so far out, it should make a pretty big difference. even with a tiny bit of fuel. Okay. Well, that's an impact. It's not exactly the best way to come in, but... Well... It's one way to do it. When there's no re-entry heating, like in Kerbal Space Program here, you can do stuff like that. And here we go. This is always really crazy looking. When well, you come in at such a steep angle like that. Okay, we're going real fast. Since we've got to lose this fuel anyway, we may as well try to help out with slowing down. Before we jettison it. Probably not necessary, but it uh, gives me more peace of mind. I 
I'm surprised we haven't had more trouble with uh, electric charge since we have no means of restoring it and a very small amount in the capsule. Because uh, this engine, unlike some of the others, does not generate power. So when you're just using it, you got to be a little careful. Yeah, we're coming in hot. Which is what I expected, but... Well, that probably helped a bit there. So our parachutes are kind of pre deployed Oh, shoot. Whew. That made me very uncomfortable there. Come on, come on, come on. Oh no, not the mountains again. I think we are going to hit in the mountains. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Suppose I should check these things. Slipping this thing or can I really do anything about this? Okay, we're coming on not quite as steep. It doesn't look like it's quite as steep of terrain as where Jebediah died. In fact, it looks relatively, uh, relatively flat. But we are coming a bit fast. Oh man, come on. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Okay, not as flat as I thought. Oh. Ooh, stop. Oh. Well, Bob, you did it. You did it. You made it to the Mun orbit. Got a bunch of science. Glorious. And got all those rewards. Okay, science. Now, for landing on the moon, there's a couple of things that may be helpful. One thing is this. And what I mean is this. This thing allows you to do the asparagus staging, which is really one of the best things to be doing uh, for your launches. So we'll get that. That should help out quite a bit. And then we also want this because we want as much science as possible when we actually make it to the moon. Plus having a battery pack always helpful. Okay, so over 100 science we can't do it until we upgrade this place. So, we'll need to start thinking about that. And we, we need some cash, so maybe we should uh, figure out a way to um, increase our money. Takes 5% of reputation gains and yields 7.1 funds for each one unit of reputation. 
Uh, you can go up to 25 percent I'm thinking well I don't know the setup cost is pretty high maybe we'll wait on that there's some debris there might as well recover it get a little bit of cash this is from that uh, ship I sent into the water and then exploded when I tried to make it into a motorboat so I hope that we have enough cash now to uh, attempt the moon landing with the science that we have I think so because the ship we just sent was not quite wasn't that expensive uh, and we may be able to launch more efficiently with the fuel systems I think we had enough fuel there to make it. Uh, well, I guess the problem is we really need to upgrade this tracking station so that we can see what we're doing. Because this flying blind thing is... Ah, man, it's terrible. Well, anyway, we'll uh, see you in the next episode. Hopefully, we can make it to the moon. But if not... Well, I suppose someone will probably die. No, I mean, I can probably recover. Right? Yeah. Okay, we'll see you then.